Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Carlos Music, and I'm back with another tutorial. That's right, another tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be studying Stevie Wonder's Power Flower. That's right, need I say more? Now, look, I'll do my best to interpret these chords and progressions, and if it can help anybody with this song, then I'm all for it. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Power Flower. Uh, by Stevie Wonder. We love you, Stevie. And I love this song for its musicality. I mean, it goes places uh, that I did not know existed on the keyboard, right? Um, this is from um, The Secret Life of Plants uh, movie, right? He did the soundtrack for The Secret Life of Plants. If you haven't heard it, you need to check it out. It's just Stevie being Stevie and experimental, right? I love this one, right? So this is in the key of A major, right? So, right? So A, B, D flat, D, E, G flat, A flat, A, right? Cool, right? So let's get uh, this. We have an introduction, uh, we have a verse, and we have a chorus, right? And then an outro, right? So let's get right to it. Let's get this introduction, which is the coolest part, right? So watch. Well, maybe not the coolest, but uh, one of the coolest parts, right? So let's try this. So let's stop right there. Just getting that um, that chorus. Lots of parts here, right? So uh, I'm sorry, getting the introduction. Lots of parts here, right? So first, now without this A in the root, right? This looks like uh, what we would use as a G dominant seven, right? So F B D. Right, but we're using that not with a G in the bass, <laughs> where it normally goes, but with an A in the bass, right? Right? And then we'll go here to our A major seven, right? So slick, right? So slick, right? A in the bass, of course, E in the right hand, A flat. D flat, right? So, right? Right? So, what I'll do there, B, F, and you can come back down and hit the chord, right? Another way you can do that is this chord here, just do the inversion, put the F on top, come back down. All right? So we're doing that once again and we'll go into this verse, right? Right? 
right? Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Good, good stuff in there, man. Look, so, of course, coming from that introduction, as you see, will be the post hook, right? Right? And then we hit this. Just a chromatic, right? Chromatic chord from where we go to our A major seven with the nine, right? So what I have in my right hand is A, C, D, F. Right, so uh, A in the bass, A flat in the right hand, B, D flat, E. Go to this. A dominant seven with a flat nine, right? So still A in the bass, A in the bass for the first part, well, for the verse. And then when we go to the chorus or the pre chorus, excuse me, you guys, uh, we'll start changing the bass notes. But A in the bass, G in the right hand, B flat, D flat, E, right? So. Then we go to this D major in the right hand, the A still in the bass, A, D, G flat. Now look, without the A in the bass, it's a B diminished, right? A B diminished, right? B, D, F. Go again. Back to the A major seven with the nine. Right? D major, B diminish, D major, B diminish, D major, go back, chromatic, A seven, flat nine. And then we go to this. Right? So, man, it's, it's a perfect way to get out of that, right? You're in A, and then your transition out of that is going to be an E flat minus 7? Really, Stevie? Come on, man. E flat in the bass, B flat in the right hand, D flat, G flat. We A flat augmented, right? A flat in the bass, C in the right hand, E, A flat, right? So let's go ahead and go there, right? Uh, Morning, it's night. Ooh, every chord is just giving me goosebumps. Right? This is our D flat major seven, right? In context, right? The way these chords follow and precede each other is what really just moves the emotion, right? But let's get back, because I'm gonna talk too much. Uh, D flat major seven, D flat in the bass, A flat in the right hand, C, F. Now you see this when we're gonna start changing our bass notes, right? Then we go to our F minor seven, F in the bass, A flat in the right hand, C, E flat, L. We're going back to that E flat minor seven, different inversion, E flat in the bass, G flat in the right hand, B flat, D flat. Back to that A flat arc minute seven. A flat arc minute seven, right? Before we hit that A flat arc minute, straight this time we add the seven right just my interpretation right it's just so many colors you can do here that you can take your pick right as long as you stay in the scope a flat in the bass g flat the right hand c e right This is our D flat minor seven. 
D flat in the bass, B in the right hand, E, A flat, one of my favorite chords. Right, it's our G flat seven with the nine. Right, so G flat in the bass, B flat in the right hand, E, A flat. Now you notice right here, when you're in that D flat minor seven, you just take this B, move it down to the B flat, and the bass to the G flat. Going to our B minor seven, B in the bass, A in the right hand, D, G flat. Same move. Move this A down to A flat, and this B, right, to our E. Circle of fifths, right? Those moves. Here we're on our E seven with a nine, right? E in the bass. A flat and right hand D G flat. Until all is said and done. Coming on back home, right? A major seven with a nine. In the twinkling I be gone. Right, so when you sit there, all is said and done. You may have saw me do this in the twing. Just staying in that, keeping my hands in that same shape and just go into that same uh, D flat minor seven. Just a different inversion. Same thing, the B moves to the A flat. I'm sorry, B moves to the B flat, excuse me, and the bass note to the G flat. But excuse me. See that different inversion of the B minor seven? Just take this G flat and move it down. Excuse me. Same thing, A moves to A flat, so much, and the bass to an E, right? More to do. Right? Ah. Now look, that's Stevie Wonder, man. I mean, that feel you can only get from Stevie Wonder himself. I gotta mention that, right? So those are the verses, right? Verse, I have that introduction. Right? Right? Verse. Right? This one right here so look out for that right because this part is really crazy right the way he does simple but uh yet just theoretically crazy right so of course right
Let's get that. Right? So, look. Now, that's that same chord. Just a different inversion. We're taking this F and B and putting it on top, right? Right? So, D, F, B. Now, D, F, A flat. Same chord, right? B, D, F, right? So, so this right here is just a transition back to the same chord that we started off with, right? So, right, got that one. Second one is just chromatically down, right? So, D flat, E, B flat. Pass with that A or that G, I'm sorry. Same chord that we started off with, different inversion. Right? B flat, D flat, E. Third one, chromatically down. C, E flat, A. Stay with me. Pass with that G flat. Down to that same chord. A, C, E flat. Go back and get it again. This time chromatically down to that B, D, A flat. It's E major chord. A flat, B, E. Same, right? It's like that G dominant seven chord, the A in the bass, and then we come back, get this A, high A, and we're back to our A major seven with the nine. Right? Well, probably not with the nine, but just A major seven. How cool is that, right? Once again, we're gonna go slow, right? So. chase right we're not gonna do the d major to the b diminished uh d major to the b diminished we're not gonna do that so many times so we're just gonna do the a minus seven with the nine power, power, power. a seven with the flat nine right d major and the right power, power, love. b diminished go back power, 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 power. That's the entire song, people. Look, I hope this helped you. And if it helped you, won't you like the video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell, people. Look, it's Carlos Music, and I'm out.